Welcome back, and today I am so honored to be joined by the president of UT, Dr. Nagy, and I believe you are currently the interim president, correct? And when did you take this position? Well, this started on July 1st. Until then, I was serving as the dean of the engineering college here. The board asked me to step into this role and serve, and I'm very honored to do that. So this is your first MLK Unity celebration that you've got to kind of proceed over. How has this been as an experience for you? Well, you know, people like Dr. King are transformational in their messaging and what they did with their lives, how they motivated others to do, you know, just inspiring other people to do the kind of things they could not have imagined on their own. So it's a great honor to lead this great university and to preside today. And how do you think hosting this event on your campus benefits these students here? Well, I think uh, good things uh, are something you need to remind yourself of. It is something to see them as messages, but when the whole community comes together and talks about it, all of a sudden you kind of resonate with each other, and that messaging becomes extremely important. Well, I love that. And just before you leave us, do you have a favorite motto or quote from um, Dr. Martin Luther King? Well, obviously, he talks about challenging each one to go to the mountaintop. You know, he really is pushing everyone, don't just give up easily. If you set your mind to it, you can reach the mountaintop, and that is so important for all of us. It is. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, and enjoy your day. My pleasure. Right here. Honored to have Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Charlie. It's a pleasure to be with you. Now, I have never been to the Unity Day celebration. Oh, my goodness. This is my first time, in, and I've been in Toledo 43 years. Have you been here before, and what do you think about it? I come every year. How did you miss it? Well, I, do, I get together <laughs> with my sons, and I'm going to bring them from now on. I'll never miss another one. All right. So how do you feel about this, uh, this program today and in the past? Well, first of all, I'm very proud of the University of Toledo for hosting it these many years. Mm -hmm. And all of those who come from the churches, all of the business leaders that are here, all of the community leaders, it really is a coming together of our community on this day. And it's a day of commemoration and also a day of celebration of the holiday. Well, I have to tell you, and be, I, before I forget, I want to thank you, because in, in the spirit of Dr. King, I want to thank you for your service to our area, because you've been such, I mean, you are a drum major, as he would say. Well, we all try to be drum majors. Uh, he was one with a very large baton <laughs> and uh, changed the country, changed our nation, changed our nation for the better, raised consciousness. The tragedy is he only lived to the age of 39. His life was taken from him. And I was living at that time. I was a student. I remember that. It just shook, it just shook the entire nation. Right. And so it was a wake-up call. And uh, I loved his speaking style. He was a great orator. And he called America to its conscience. And so today we remember his life and his legacy. And his legacy lives on in the vision that he had for America with justice for all. Well, thank you very much. Those, I couldn't have said it better myself. Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur, thank you for stopping by the Glass City Garage. So proud of you. He would be very proud of you and your program and giving voice to the experiences of all Americans. You just made my day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur, we'll be back with more of the Glass City Grind after this. Yeah.